Hi, Assalamu Alaikum. With me again, Teacher Rin. In this video, we will learn Mathematics Form 2, Chapter 13, Simple Probability. 13.1, Experimental Probability. And the learning standard is 13.1.1. Perform simple probability experiment and state the experimental probability of an event. And the second learning standard is 13.1.2. Make conclusion about the experimental probability of an event when the number of trials are large enough. Alright then, what is actually probability? Probability is the experiment whose outcome are unknown and cannot be predicted precisely. For example, flipping a coin, throwing dice, and target shooting. Probability is also known as measurement of possible occurrence of an event stated as fraction or percentage. The value of probability is between 0 and 1. There are two types of probability, which is experimental probability and theoretical probability. In this video, we will learn what is experimental probability. Experimental probability is the probability that is obtained from an experiment. What is experiment? Experiment is the process of carrying out an activity to observe its result. The result of an experiment is known as outcome. Let us see the example one. List the possible outcomes when a coin is toast. Okay, for this experiment, the outcome is getting head and tail. What is an event? Event is an outcome of an experiment that fulfills certain conditions. For example, getting a seat when a fair dice is thrown. Experimental probability is used as an estimation of the probability that cannot be determined by simple logic. Experimental probability is a simple ratio of the frequency of an event occurring to the number of times the activity is repeated. Okay, uh, This is the formula which is frequency of the event divided by the number of trial. Example 2. A dice is rolled 100 times. Find the probability of obtaining the value 4 if the value 4 appears 16 times. So let A be the event of obtaining the value 4. Number of trials here is 100 and frequency is 16. So the probability of obtaining the value 4 is taking 16 divided by 100. So the final answer is 4 over 25. We go further to 13.1.2 which is experimental probability of an event when the number of trials are large enough. When the number of trial is large enough, the value of the experimental probability approaches the theoretical probability. For example, the table shows the frequency of obtaining heads and tails when a coin is tossed several times. Since there are two possible outcomes when a coin is tossed, namely head and tail, therefore, there is 50% chance of obtaining a head and tail. Based on the table above, the greater the number of trials, the closer is the percentage of the event to the expected value of 50%. So here is the summary of what we have learned in the video. Probability is, there are two types of probability, 
which is experimental probability and theoretical probability which we will learn in the next video and here is the formula to get experimental probability which is frequency of event divided by number of trial and please note that experimental probability of an event when the number of trials are large enough will approach the theoretical probability so that's all from me see we meet again in the next video assalamualaikum bye bye Thank you.